Greetings. Uh, this video describes how to test the servo unit on the Jaguar XJ6 uh, Series 2 and Series 3 and also the XJS um, from 76 up until the late 80s when they changed to the full electronic version. Uh, this thing has a small uh, Servo unit is driven by a small electrical motor that drives back and forth to uh, set the temperature inside the car. Uh, the test here uh, will help you uh, troubleshoot or at least make sure everything works on the main power switches, the fan switches, fan relays, uh, the servo motor, uh, the feedback pot, and the temperature control. So basically all of the controls for the servo itself uh, can be tested fairly easily here. All you need is um, a VOM meter, a volt ohm meter, uh, so you can check ohms and power, and some little jumper wires, and that's, then that should do it. So uh, let's get started. First start, um, turn the power switch on. I usually set it to auto because uh, that way I can hear the fan cycle up and down. And this one over here is inconsequential, it doesn't matter where it is. Then you remove the side panel. Uh, this is the left-hand side, and be the driver's side on the left-hand drive car. And separate this connector here, and take the fuse holder apart. Then we go to the female uh, connector, the part of the connector here. The male part goes over to the uh, the controller. Uh, module over there. <clears throat> um, if you're questioning the controller module and you think it might be bad and you're not going to use it or replace it, then you can cut the wires back here close to the servo and that gives you a pigtail which looks like this. Um, if you're thinking of using one of my controller boards, you're going to need it anyway, but it makes the test a lot easier. So you plug it in <clears throat> to the part that goes into the car. And that gives you these bare ends. Uh, these bare ends are what we're going to be working with. Okay, what we want are the uh, the purple colored, the red, and the brown wires, as well as a black wire which goes to the fuse holder or to ground or something. So now, basically, you have um, the brown wire and the red and purple. The red and purple. They go to drive the servo motor. Uh, the brown is going to be your power wire, and the black is ground. Okay, <clears throat> to start with, connect the red wire to the black wire and the purple wire to the brown wire. Uh, this gives you power to the servo motor. Then turn on the ignition switch. And here, the servo is running. Let it run until it stops. That's one direction. In my case, that's going to be the heat side because I, uh, um, because the car is cool, uh, no fans run. So <clears throat> turn the ignition switch off and reverse the wires so that now your purple wire is connected to ground and the red wire is connected to brown. And then turn the ignition on again. Servo runs, and now we're headed toward the cold side. And the fans are starting to run on air conditioning. Okay, so what that tells us is that the servo is working, the servo motor is running, the switches that control the fan speeds are running. So uh, everything as far as my power switch and my um, fan control speed relays and the servo motor itself are all in good shape. For the next part of the test, uh, we are going to use the yellow wire, the green wire, and the orange wire. These go to the feedback pot on the servo unit itself. If we connect an ohm meter uh, across the orange wire and the yellow wire, as I have here, and look at the meter, uh, we see uh, 2.17 k ohms, 
which is what we should see because this is actually a 2.2k uh, a pot so this looks like it's well within the range of what it should be. Next we'll actually test the operation of the uh, of the pot itself. Okay now if you connect the, um, the black wire to the red wire, the purple wire to the brown wire, this is going to run the servo back in the opposite direction and then take your meter uh, loose from the orange wire connected to the green wire. Okay and this is going to, uh, we're going to test the servo. The, the feedback part, excuse me. So uh, we have 2.16 uh, K ohms there. And as we turn it on and run the servo, that number should fall. As the servo runs, this should go down towards zero. And when it stops, we're 0.15k, actually 150 ohms. That's kind of perfect. It may even be my meter. This is not the greatest meter. Um, so uh, that's one scale and 2.16 is the other side. So the feedback pot's working perfectly. Okay, and uh, there's one final check you need to make. Uh, this is checking the, um, the potentiometer that's attached to the control knob that sets the temperatures. So to test this, uh, you go down to your wires, find the blue wire and the white wire, like that, and go to your 20, 20 K ohm scale on the ohm meter, and then move the control knob over its full range. So when I am up at 65 degrees, I'm reading just shy of 10 K ohms, which is correct. And when I go back down to 65 degrees, I'm reading zero ohms, which is also correct. This is actually a 15K pot, but uh, its range is limited by, um, by a mechanical means. So you can only swing it over 10K ohms. So um, all the way from one end, this is the middle, 4.5K. And 9.99, so we're just under 10K. So um, that means that my... Uh, potentiometer on my temperature knob is correct. If by chance you turn your system on and none of this happens, one of the first checks you want to make is to check for power um, between the brown wire and the black wire. If this doesn't work, then you have a problem back with the switches, fuses, and that kind of stuff. So then it's time to go troubleshooting. So this is kind of like your first step. So you should you should have power here. So we, if we turn on the ignition, we look and we see um, my battery voltage 12.18, which means that I have um, I have good there. Turn the switch off. Of course, it goes away. So that's it. That's between the black wire and the brown wire. Brown wire's power feed uh, to this. To the servo and to the servo module and of course the ground is through a fuse and that's uh, the black wire. So that's about it. Um, if, you, um, if you follow these steps you should be able to test and make sure that the mechanical parts and electrical control parts of your servo are working uh, as expected. So um, it's a you know just basically lets you know you have a good servo. You don't test the uh, the air conditioning, um, the controls for the air conditioning, or the controls for defrost, or any of the vacuum stuff here. Uh, that's uh, that's for another video, but uh, this one is just for the uh, control of the servo itself and the the action of the servo. So anyway, you guys take care, stay safe out there, and uh, happy motoring.